place it here. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's open it. Ready? Come on. There we go. Another one. Another one. Open it. Yes. Get this paper out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Let's get into this. Welcome to the Bible Geek Squad. It's your boy, Pastor Jay, and I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Um, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be checking out the new ESV Study Bible in Deep Brown Buffalo Leather. It's a treat, it's nice, and we're going to dive into it. Get ready. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we have the ESV Study Bible in Buffalo Leather Deep Brown. I would have put Deep Brown uh, buffalo leather, but either case, you know, I'm just saying that. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, so it's going to come in a two-piece box. So, hey, where's the Bible? What in the world? I'm just kidding. It's right here, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out, my friends. Beautiful buffalo leather. It, it is very, very grainy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the grain right there. So yeah, it is beautiful. Uh, it does have perimeter stitching. Check it out. It does have perimeter stitching around, so that's good. Um, it's gonna have four different race tubs, as you guys can see right here. One, two, three, four. It says Study Bible, ESV, English Standard Version, ESV, Crossway, you know. What translation is this again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, ESV, very, very nice. Now, one of the things that you guys are going to see or when you guys open this Bible, it's going to have a lot of detail too, man. It's going to have a lot of little details here, so which is nice. Um, this right here is a paste down liner. It's not going to be an edge line. I thought it would have been an edge line, but it's not. It, it's paste down liner. Now, Crossway, they do have... Um, the Heirloom Study Bible, that one's about $375. I'm just, just throwing that out there in case you want an edge line. Something, you know, like top, top quality, that would be the way to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful Bible. I don't have it. I personally don't have it. I wish I'd had it, but uh, I don't have the money to buy that one. However, uh, this one is very nice, and this is actually going to uh, be... See if I can show you guys. It's gonna be $150. So we can get it to focus. $149. It's gonna be $150. So this one you can get at crossway.com. You can get it at christianbook.com. You can find it at Amazon, eBay. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it at Evangelical Bible, but uh, that's where you can get it. Let's get into this. Um, again, it's gonna be a paste down, it's not an edge line. Uh, Crossway also has the the cowhide leather one and that one's fantastic I actually had that one and I gave it uh, to a friend pastor of mine beautiful beautiful edition of the Bible you're gonna have one two three you're gonna have several white papers as you guys can see right here several white papers before you get into the introduction you can put pictures in here you can write notes you can do whatever it is that you want to do on this one introduction and I did uh, Put some tabs, uh, ESV, study Bible. This is printed in China, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get it closer to you guys. And before you say, oh my goodness, it's printed in China, guys, I don't even wanna hear it, man, because uh, a lot of the printing in China, my goodness, uh, at least for Crossway, paper is fantastic. And I demonstrated that in my last video, the battle of the wide margins, where I compared Cambridge the Cambridge wide margin with the crossway single column uh, Bible. And you guys saw how there was a bleed through on, uh, on Cambridge paper and there was no bleed through whatsoever, hardly any see through using the microns on both editions, the crossway and the Cambridge wide margin. And the uh, uh, and the uh, crossway heirloom, there was no bleed through whatsoever. Just, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, this, I believe, is 31 GSM paper, so that's also very, very nice. 
Uh, you're going to see an overview of the Bible, a survey of the history of salvation. Now, if you already have an ESV study Bible, you know what I'm talking about. You're here more to see, you know, about the 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 buffalo leather, which is very, very nice. Um, it doesn't feel, I mean, it feels a little better than the genuine leather. It doesn't feel any better than a calfskin. I, I would say calfskin is a lot better and goatskin, you know, of course, way, way better. But this is still, it's still nice. It's still very, very nice. The, like I said, the fact that it has perimeter stitching all across, very nice. Oh, by the way, it only comes with one ribbon, guys. Only one ribbon. Uh, and it is going to be single sided. It's just on one side. It's that one ribbon. <laughs> yeah, it's smooth on one side. Then uh, you're going to open up your Bible and you're going to see the theology of the Old Testament. Introduction to the Pentateuch and the book introduction. Man, these, this book is amazing. Guys, when it first came out, I think it sold over 180,000. The first five months of its release, it, it sold over 180,000 units, ladies and gentlemen. And it won two awards. First Bible to ever do that. If you don't have an ESV study Bible, maybe you've considered uh, uh, getting one, but you never really got one because you're not the biggest uh, study Bible fan or whatever the case is, this is definitely one that you want to have. If you haven't gone to seminary or, or you're thinking about it, Trust me, you need this. If you can't afford seminary, you need this for reals. I mean, this thing is packed. It is packed with information. Uh, so it's gonna have, it's gonna give you an introduction to the Bible, to the every book of the Bible. You're gonna see different charts right here. Different charts. Very, very nice. Look at all this information. All this information is right before you dive into the actual book itself. This is offered the book of Genesis. Look at that. Another page jam-packed with a lot of information, my friends, that trust me, you're going to benefit from. This is gonna have colored maps all across the Bible in different parts. Very, very nice. Uh, your outline right here. This is gonna have your outline. And you're going to get to the book right here. Look, this is kind of like a booger green color. <laughs> I don't know what color this is. You know, like, a, I don't know. It's, it's nice, though. It's nice. It gives you a brief information. And then it starts to break down your notes right here, you know. Uh, so this is pretty cool because this is only two verses. And then you're going to have all that information right here. Uh, when I first became a Christian and, and I felt that, the Lord was calling me into ministry. Uh, I, I couldn't afford to go to seminary. Now, of course, don't get me wrong from the last statement that I said. If you if you haven't gone to seminary, you need to get one. You do need to get one. It, it is going to help you. It's going to have a lot of the basics, the fundamentals that you need, uh, especially if you can't afford to go to seminary, seminary at the moment. This definitely is going to help you. And I'm going to show you a lot of those resources. Uh, this Bible does have references on the inner margins right there. Look at that. It's going to have some references on the inner margins. Study notes, uh, graphs, and, and this is going to be throughout, sorry about that, this is going to be throughout the entire Bible, okay? So that's something very nice to look forward to. Look at all this information, my friends. Another, another map right there, and they're not in black and white, they are colored, which is great, right? Here's a bigger... Look at, the, look at the color map right there, very, very nice, an explanation of it. And then you're going to see some more of the text. Uh, if you already noticed, this is single column text. It's not a double column. It is going to be a single column. It's going to have over 80,000, guys, over 80,000 cross references, 40 illustrations, including full color maps as like the one that you're seeing, over 200 charts. Guys, this is an amazing, amazing Bible, my friends. As, soon, as you guys get to the end of the Old Testament and we come into the New Testament, it's going to show you right there. So you're going to see it right there. Check it out. That's what I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely uh, an investment that you want to take. Uh, look at this beautiful th image right here. Thing right here. Look, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Very, very nice. Look at that. Full color, my friends. The Temple Mounts in the time of Jesus. Very very nice, right? 
Um, this Bible, as you guys can see, as you guys already were able to see right here, it, it, it only has the, that uh, gold gilding. It doesn't have no art gilding, like red under gold or blue under gold. It doesn't have that. It's just gold, okay? So if you really, really like that, then go get the Heirloom one by Crossway, the Heirloom Study Bible. That one has like four ribbons, colored. I mean, that thing is beautiful. So it's going to have some more graphs right here. Look at that. Let me take you guys back to the Gospels. Uh, because in the Gospels, you're going to find out if you're a red letter fan, yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint. There's no red letters. For me personally, I, I really prefer a black letter Bible. That's that's my preference, black letter all the way. Yeah, team black letter. At the end of the book of Revelation, we're going to see, and this is what I was telling you guys about, the article and resources right there. Look at that. Articles and resources. That is awesome. So God's plan of salvation. Biblical doctrine, an overview of this. If you're a leader, if you're going to be a pastor, if you feel the calling uh, of a pastor, if the Lord's calling you to pastor, this is something that you definitely want to have. You're going to learn a lot of this stuff. You should be learning this in church to begin with, you know. Um, if you're not, you really need this or find yourself a biblical teaching church where they teach you the scriptures, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, but it does show you a lot of these awesome things. Uh, a lot of points, uh, exegesis, biblical theology, systematic theology, right there. What it means to know God, the knowability of God, right there. Character of God, look at all this. This is amazing. The Trinity, God, right there. God is three persons, the triunity of God, practical implications of the Trinity, the person of Christ, uh, definitely something that you need to really think about uh, if you really want one. Well, there's not much to think about. You need to get yourself an ESV study Bible, bottom line, bunch of amazing features as you guys are seeing right now. Look, the work of Christ, that is, that is nice. Biblical descriptions of the atonement, look at that. Um, you're gonna see three, three sections right here, three rows of the concordance. And at the end of your concordance, you come to your maps. And I, I've said it in the past, I really don't care for maps much, but uh, there's a lot of people that do, they love the maps. That's nice. And that's coming from somebody that doesn't really care for maps, but this is nice. This is very nice. So there you have it, my friends, the beautiful ESV study Bible in deep brown buffalo leather. Guys, again, I encourage you, go get it. Uh, Get yourself this edition, it's beautiful. If you prefer the Heirloom Study Bible, go get that one, that one. From what I've seen, it is absolutely stunning. This right here, if you're on a budget, this is it guys. This is nice and you don't have to be worrying like a True Tone edition that uh, the leather is going to be falling apart or anything like that. The imitation, whatever it is that they're using, is going to be falling apart. Mm -mm. We got to study the Word of God, ladies and gentlemen. We got to study the Word of God. And so there's got to be some evidence that we're studying God's Word when we see our Bibles falling apart. Because a Bible that's falling apart usually means or shows a person, a man or a woman of God that is not falling apart. Amen. So go get yourself one because they are very, very nice. God bless you. Take care. And as usual, if you like this video and it helped you, uh, like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, share this video, tag somebody, let somebody know, hey, this is an awesome Bible. I need to get one. You need to get one. You, you got it. <laughs> And as usual, my friends, if you have not subscribed to this channel, uh, subscribe, consider subscribing, uh, click the notification button, and uh, like this video, share it, comment down below. Let me know if you already have it. Let me know if you have a True Tone edition, how well it's held up over the years, or how long you've had it. Um, and tag, tag somebody. Let somebody know, hey, you really got to check out the new edition of the ESV Study Bible, because it's amazing. Yes, it is, my friends. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you in my next one. <gasps>